good afternoon. My name is Peter Preferis and I'm the chairman of the board of the Eskom Expo for Young Scientists. Okay. So what is the whole main reason behind the Science Expo? The reason for the Science Expo is an opportunity for learners from all school going age um, children to present their scientific projects to a group of judges um, to determine um, where is going to represent South Africa um, internationally and um, have the possibility of winning prizes to the value of 4 okay. million rand. Hi, I'm Anton. I come from Kira Institute. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get I began by looking at nature and I started looking at the Philinopsis orchid flower. Now this flower has a property to stay clean in very dirty conditions and that is all thanks to the surface of the orchid flower. Now as you can see here in this photo, the surface of a Philinopsis orchid flower is actually very rough and not smooth. But this is rough on a very minute scale. This orange part which you can you see on the photo is a tenth of a millimeter. And this rough surface creates a hydrophobic surface, which basically means it repels water. Now, if a water droplet were to fall on the surface, it would not spread out over the whole surface, but keep its droplet full. And then, whilst drilling off, since it cannot spread out and cling to the surface, it will connect dust molecules and other debris and that's how we're doing it. Hey, I'm, I'm Regan from Boys Eye, Regan Moon from Pretoria Boys Eye School and this is my project and automated pH control system for Colbert. So how this system works is first of all there's about 650,000 pools in South Africa which, of, which most of, those, uh, of which most of those pools don't have automated pH control systems. They have to test the, their pH using those small kits. So what I thought of doing was crea of creating a system that automatically tests the pH and, if the, and depending on the pH difference, adds acid or alkaline uh, mixture to the pool. So how the system works is it consists of two parts. First of all, there's a the slave controller part, which will be built by a pool, and the other part the master controller part, which would be which would be by your house, in your house, by your computer. So the slave controller, how it works is it receives a message from the master controller. The master controller has code written onto it with the Raspberry Pi, which asks for the pH, and if the pH um, and asks it from the slave controller, the slave controller says the pH is too high. Thank you.